All right, Jim, so what we want to do is um, you're going to make up a 20 mil solution of pectinase at one mega mil. So you have to weigh out 20 megs of pe uh, pectinase, right? And then you'll dissolve it in 20 mils of water. And then you'll dissolve it in the beaker, and then I want you to transfer it into the solution bottle. Mark it off as 1x pectinase, and then you'll have that stored for tomorrow, and you'll be ready to go. So I'll let you go do it and mix the stuff together, and you know, you know what I want you to do now, right? Yes. All right, so let's go with Gilbert's idea. The classroom that we're in right now is biotechnology, and this is one of the, the governor's initiatives to try to get STEM education opportunities for students in school. We opened the program about three, four years ago, and um, it was a, a very small interest at the very beginning and has mushroomed into hundreds of students uh, interested every year. So it's very competitive um, in terms of what it's done for students. The opportunities here are, are endless in terms of their opportunities to attend college uh, at the community college level or university level. There's gonna be two Apple sauces are gonna be treated with two different enzymes. And you're gonna tell me what those enzymes do to the applesauce and how much applesauce it creates. So I think you'll be pretty amazed tomorrow to see what, see what these do. So this is gonna be pretty interesting, right? Now I'll show you what they've already done. Tomorrow I'll pull up the... Is it really? I have pretty high standards for these uh, students, and I think they know that by now. I do, uh, we do a lot of labs in here. My expertise is in laboratory technique. Uh, I want these uh, students to know laboratory techniques when they get out of here, besides the theory. Uh, the book that we're using is a very, very good biotechnical book. There's not a lot of biotechnical textbooks out in the market. And the one that we use is very well written. A lot of online assignments because you're going to do a lot of online research. If you're in science, you're going to do a lot of online research when you get out of here. So I want to make sure that they're properly trained to do that type of uh, techniques. This biotechnology program is one of the most challenging career programs in our school. The students are here for a uh, for close to three hours a day getting immersed in science principles, uh, aseptic techniques, and, and so forth. Um, I would rate it uh, very high in terms of interest, and I would say the students and parents love this program. Um, significant uh, learning is going on in this career program. The rat spleen, where it was located on the side, is similar to where it you would have seen it with your rabbit. Mm -hmm. And the sizing is the same here as it is with the rabbit. But of course, this is a much smaller organism. So you have to look at the size of organ in comparison to the whole organism. Um, this is a pretty um, non-virulent strain of E. coli. But um, it is a bacteria that they get to mutate or um, genetically engineer themselves to be an amylase producer and also resistant to an antibiotic. So very easily in the lab, they can make that one plate of bacteria resistant to antibiotic that it would normally be susceptible to. It's never boring, or it always captures your attention. We went, we went over a topic in here called gene therapy, which I think is like, it's basically you're taking faulty genes and correcting them like from inside a person's DNA. So I think that's like definitely going to be a growing field over the next 10, 15 years, and it's something I want to get myself into. So it, it's definitely giving me the training I need to get into a good college and a good course for what I want to do. So definitely, it's a good course. We want to do duplicates or triplicates of the same. We have a co-op advisor here at um, at St. George's, and he just sent me out a. Um, a perspective for future jobs in biotech growth that I think is supposed to go up 70 percent in the next 10 years. So these students, if they decide to stay in this area, should be pretty well off in the future. I want to be a CSI. Detective. Veterinarian. Marine biologist. Gene therapist. Pharmacologist. Pharmaceutical scientist. Movie director for biotechnology films. Well, we've doubled in size over the last two years already, and um, I can see there's significant interest to grow it further. Parents and students alike are, have a high demand for this career program and this pathway. <laughs>